as we get ready for our first race of the day. Straightaway wise, it's the Mediacom Women's 100 Meters. In the center of picture there, Dan O'Brien, the reigning Olympic champion in the long jump, Tiana Bartoletta. Well, Tiana Bartoletta was, <clears throat> excuse me, one of those athletes that really benefited benefited from another season. She had some health she had some health issues, and she was able to restart her training. Clear in clear in Ma in May, she was saying she didn't really get started till she till she got going in May. But now she's going to have a whole another year to prepare. She's been running very well. You can, she's very inspirational on social media. She's got over a hundred thousand followers on social media. But you can also see her training on a daily basis as well. She ran some flying thirties for us on uh, Instagram just last week, and she looked very very good. And she will also long jump today, her specialty. Look forward to that. And next to her, Kayla White, North Carolina A&T from last year. You talked about Chris Belcher and the legacy of North Carolina A&T. There's a lot of talent there in the sprints, and she's no different as she gets into the blocks to go up against Bartoletta. Well, Kayla White was second to Shakari Richardson last year in the 100-meter final at the NCAA Championships. And everybody looked at Shakari Richardson as, as the next great female sprinter, but Kayla White actually had a better summer than Shakari did. Christina Nod of the Philippines in lane two. Three women here to start our sprint portion of the event. And we'll look for that good start from Tiana Bartoletta, but out there in lane six, that's Kayla White. White strong, but now on the inside, not kind of closing the gap, and maybe on the back half of the race, not. So we await the official result, and it actually will be Kayla White taking the win in 11-18, and straight to the bank with a big check, $1,500 for the win. You know, we've talked a lot in years about, you know, these collegians that peak for that NCAA championship. And Kayla has said how disappointed she was in her performance at the USA Outdoor Championships. She just had run out of gas. Well, and that's what's a little bit unfair about the collegiate athletes having to turn right back around a week or two later. Here you see a start. Looked like Tiana Bartoletta in the middle did get a really good start. It's a little bit tight there in the middle. Well, Christina Knott and Kayla White are a little more free-flowing on the outside, but Kayla White, you know, you're out there running in an island, basically, when there's nobody next to you. This is, a, this is just a, you know, a nice time trial. If somebody's ahead of you, obviously, on your left or right, you can see them, but when, you know, that person's not in that lane, it's really difficult to kind of really almost judge your effort sometime. But she did a great job on the outside. This is a faster, this is her fastest run of the season. She had run 11.43 earlier in the year, and she's got to be happy to see that 11.18 up there. A little bit of progress here before she shuts down the end of the season. Yeah, just her third race of the season. She's now the third fastest American in 2020. Yeah, here we go. Carrie Tollefson down with our winner, Kayla White.